fox. That's crazy. Fox appears. We're there. And back to the studio, back from the mountains, epic day up there, chasing some vertical in the beautiful green colorway, the Innovate Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. Did I get it right? Innovate Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. If I ever start a running shoe company, which I might, I will make sure that the names of the running shoes are condensed, are simple, are easy to remember. Like, I, I love you, Innovate, and all the other companies, but I'm just telling you, like, Puma's throwing out some craze anyway. I'm very particular about remembering running shoes, and it just gets a little long-winded at times. Here we go, let's dive into the Innovate Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. Let's do the twist test. It's twisting, okay? I'm not gonna say loosey-goosey though, all right? I'm putting quite a bit of force into that. So yeah, it's got some, you know, basic stability uh, feel underfoot, at least in the first impression run that I did out there on what we like to call Decalibron here in Colorado. All right, it was 17 miles 49 about 4900 feet of vertical gain i do believe there it is on your screen and yes did i already mention this is just my first impression not my 50 mile full review um it's definitely a trail shoe the innovate in case you've never heard of this company i had never heard of them before about i don't know two years ago 18 months ago it is based in the uk specifically uh i think the lake i think it's called the lake district of england okay so kind of the north west i do believe anyway where it's wet where it's muddy where it's boggy where the trails are frankly kind of aggressive and it, it it shines through in the design of their trail running shoes let's dive into it six millimeter drop from heel to toe 25 in the heel 19 in the forefoot for a medium-ish stack height all right we'll put it in the medium category it feels more like a high stack height just based on the the build quality of the midsole moving on to the weight women's size eight actually i could not find it so men's size nine there it is on your screen if i can find it women's size eight i will put it on the screen but in my size we are looking at 10.6 ounces and there is my score for a training shoe it's getting a little high all right as soon as you get above 10 and a half I start to get a little less excited. All right, Innovate. So there you go, 10.6, which is why the score is not doing so great. We're looking at a mesh upper. All right, so not an engineered mesh, but a mesh upper with some very strategically placed overlays. Great toe box. And again, back to that build quality, the toe cap. I'm doing better trying to talk about the toe cap because every now and then we kick roots and rocks out there on the trails and it does not feel good this toe cap is substantial is strong is built like a tank so good work there innovate you will not i mean if you do kick a rock i don't think you're going to be phased by it it is fully gusseted for the tongue okay let me just confirm and that heel counter is a little more flexible than i expected and frankly that is why the lockdown it is where it is uh let's see seven out of ten and then overall score for the upper uh, i put it at six out of ten i'm getting a little um not babied it's not the right word i'm getting a little used to maybe is the better word for a little padding on the inside of the heel counter all right the back of the shoe uh just for a little better lockdown and a little better oh uh, feel through the foot strike so you know all the nike shoes are basically doing it now and it just feels nice 
for my gait cycle. So anyway, Innovate, that is my one recommendation for the upper is to add a little bit of padding here on the inside of the shoe in the heel counter. All right, overall, you know, not the end of the world for the upper, but I think there's some opportunity for advancement in this trail fly ultra and moving on to the heart of the shoe the midsole okay let's do the durometer bum, 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 bum. not so good it's there but it's not there it's um i would say it's probably feeling better than oh man is it the terra ultra i'm not going to remember the exact name if i if i can find it i'll put it on your screen it's feeling better than the shoes I've tested in the past from Innovate, but again, their midsoles are built like a tank and not a ton of energy return. Yes, there's graphene, and here, what is graphene? You might be wondering, all right, this is pulled right from the Innovate website. All right, there's the definition of how they are using graphene in their midsole and their outsole. And this will impact the durability prediction here in a minute, which is very, it's a great durability prediction, but overall score for the midsole um, is going way up from the ride and energy return because of that durability. This midsole is gonna go forever and ever and ever. And that's probably, like I'd say out of all the shoes out there, and I'm talking, there's a lot, with La Sportiva, Solomon, um you know definitely the american companies i mean innovate is pushing the envelope for build quality okay but it's not yet i think there's still like that durometer is pretty stiff all right i'm not and again maybe you know what this midsole probably will open up and breathe a little bit it's got to marinate underfoot for a good I'm gonna say at least 50 miles, but maybe even 100 miles before you feel like you've broken in the midsole. Remember in the 90s when you used to have to break in midsoles for running shoes? It's not really as as common these days. And I think it's because the midsole materials have become a little softer. Uh, yeah, just everyone wants a little bit of a softer ride compared to you know 15 to 20 years ago. And I think Innovate though is still I don't want to say stuck in that thought process, but they're definitely going for the higher build quality for their midsoles. I'll leave it there for the midsole. Overall, it's like it, it's exciting. I think Innovate's going in the right direction, but it's just not jumping out at me as a really high energy return. Okay, onto that outsole. It's graphene grip with this adapter flex groove which is interesting. Remember, I was getting very excited recently for the flex grooves, uh, especially in the ultra shoes under the forefoot. This is in the midfoot, almost approaching the heel, but it's right in that midfoot there just to help that shoe flex over the rocks. And I felt it out there. It actually felt really nice, but I need to do more testing because frankly, it's a very aggressive uh, groove there through that midfoot. And on that note, I'm not relegating the shoe Will it get to 50 miles? We'll see. It frankly might take until the winter. I'm just telling you, lots of shoes to be testing. It might take me till November or December to get this shoe to 50 miles, but stay tuned as I keep taking it through the paces. So it's a 10 millimeter deep V-shaped midfoot groove, 10 millimeters, all right? And it goes through the outsole and the midsole, all right? And it helps you adapt, react, and mold to uneven terrain out there, which today was a great day of uneven terrain. That is for sure. And I got to say, it felt pretty darn good out there. Uh, lug pattern, amazing, aggressive. Will do great in muddy conditions, loose rock conditions. It's just, again, built like a tank. Cue the tank, everybody. There we go. Eight out of 10. Went true to size, okay, I felt secure, no major issues, not too narrow, not too wide, nothing to write home about, just a standard score for the fit. Comfort, a little bit lower, mostly because of that midsole ride, could use a little softening up, and definitely not a plush upper, all right? Definitely not plush, so that's why we're looking under the sevens for the comfort, positives, and drawbacks. Drawback first is the energy return, through the G-Fly now, they are advertising on their website that this G-Fly midsole material is offering, I'll put it that way, 25% more energy return compared to their previous midsole materials. And Innovate, I will agree with you. If Just like I said, it feels better than 2020. But I think 
there's more to come. All right, just and that's all about the testing and all about pushing these companies forward through your opinions down below in the comments. And like we got to keep challenging these companies to not only make high build quality shoes, but also shoes that are going to perform really well. So I, I'm excited in advance. Don't hear me. Don't hear me wrong that this is a bad midsole. It just, I think, needs a little more oomph under step. All right, we'll leave it there. And my positive is the build quality. It's unbelievable. On that note, durability prediction, 800 plus. I'm going 800 plus. I cannot wait to see photos submitted through demoreglobalrunning.com for the durability of this Ultra Fly, no, <laughs> Trail Fly Ultra G300. Please do head over to demoreglobalrunning.com and you can submit photos of the shoe if you take it past 300, 500, and yes, 800 plus miles. I would love to see those photos. Moving on to how will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? You know, you want to buy one shoe for the entire, maybe the entire calendar year, but maybe the entire summer of, of trail running. Boom. This could be the shoe for you and I'll use it for daily training. All right. Not a yeah, and long run on the trails, but it's just, it's pretty heavy. Okay. By the end of a 20 to 25 mile trail long run, you will feel it in this shoe. It's just a little bit on the heavy side price point. Oh boy. I think it's the build quality and maybe they can get away with it. $190. Oh my, my five and a half out of 10. That's a lot. That's just a lot, but, but, but head over to their website. Okay. I'll try and put it on the screen and maybe link to it down below. Read up and research graphene. It's amazing. And so I can see why they're putting the price there. Cause I do think the shoe could go the distance, but that's a lot. All right. So I'm just trying to look out for you by giving it a low score to challenge innovate, to see how can we strike a happy medium? Cause I understand innovate. You got to pay the bills. You got to, you're running a business. You know, you got to pay you got to pay your employees. I get it, but that's a lot of money for the general public out there. Other shoes to buy. There you go. It was hard to find some, it was just hard, but there you go. Actually the endorphin trail, also kind of built like a tank, not a great durometer score. All right, Endorphin Trail, Peg Trail V3, Speed Cross 5. Kind of, it, yeah, kind of reminds me of the Speed Cross 5, frankly. And then the lastly, the Asics Trabuco Max from Asics. All right, here we go. Shoe quick specs for the Innovate Trail Fly Ultra G300 Max on your screen. Soak it in. Six millimeter drop. 10.7 ounces in my size, 10.6, 10.7. All right, G-Fly midsole material, which again, I think is moving in the right direction, $190. Early score, didn't break into the sevens. I think it was like 6.95-ish out of 10. 6.95 out of 10. Woo, that price point really hurt it, okay? I think it would have been in the sevens if it wasn't for that price point. There you go, everybody. I'm excited. Overall, don't give up. Innovate. Uh, I will I will not give up on you. You don't give up. I, I will keep testing. And maybe after 50 miles, that midsole will start to breathe a little bit. Comment of the day being pulled from the vlog where I tested the shoe from Sultan Katak. Uh, sorry about the pronunciation. Man, looking at all of these hard workout vlogs of yours, all I'm thinking is how you're recovering from them. So guess I guess what? I'm gonna have to start re-watching your recovery playlist. I actually don't think I have a recovery playlist, but I have a lot of vlogs, which I will link to upper right hand corner, all about recovery. He finishes by saying, Oh man, the runner's life is Awesome. I couldn't agree more, Sultan. It, it, it is awesome. It's hard. It's tiring. It's early wake ups. It's sacrifice. It's eating healthy. It's foam rolling. It's recovery. But at the end of the day, it's the purpose. It's the, I mean, I hate to steal the phrase, but it's the purpose driven life. You know, you got this purpose every day to turn that doorknob. I love it. All right. Question of the day. Here we go. Uh, what's the most, I've asked this before. Got to go there. What's the most beautiful place? ever seen. It might be out your front door. It might be on the other side of the world. What's the most beautiful place 
you've ever seen? That's actually a very hard question because uh, there's a lot of amazing places out there. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Keep turning that doorknob. All right. Seek beauty. Oh, we <laughs> toss it too. I don't know if I actually have an innovate playlist. If I don't, I will make one right here, right here. Innovate, innovate, innovate. Right there, right off. It's probably not a ton of shoes, but right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.